today we're gonna to show you how to set up a yurt, a yurt with a J. So we're gonna take a quick look at how to actually set up our classroom area, and it is considered a yurt. Uh, more medieval style yurt, it's spelled J-U-R-T-E. You can look them up online, they really look medieval when you have the whole um, thing completed, meaning the sides and the roof cap. We use just the roof and the poles. So although many of you will probably never own one of these or have one of these, I think that, uh, after having a lot of different classes and being at a lot of different events, people ask me all the time, how hard is that thing to set up? And it's really not that difficult. But I also think that from an educational standpoint, seeing how to set something like this up is only going to strengthen your knowledge around shelter building. And we have to face it that shelters are a huge proponent of every woodsman's arsenal because we set a shelter up as our home every single time we go out. So maybe you'll get a little ideas or some tips and tricks as we go along of how to actually do it. So I'm gonna let the camera roll and hopefully this guy back here, wherever, I don't know where he went, helps out. I almost fell over because this thing is big and heavy. So this is definitely not something you're gonna carry into the back country by any means. It is really more just something stationary you're gonna set up. You need a whole bunch of poles. Do you remember how many poles we need for this? whole bunch being 16 poles in total. So uh, the shelter's round, I'm gonna lay it out now and we'll chug along. First gonna set this up, you need to pick the middle spot, which is our campfire, and there's a big fire opening on the shelter. So we're gonna just use this as the middle spot, spread the shelter out. Now that everything is laid out, we need to gather our poles. These poles are about six foot six, and then you need a lot of big metal tent pegs. I made these at the forge, super easy. Now, because there are 16 poles, we're gonna take four even tie outs, meaning even is this one, the one across from it, and then count our spaces out, and we're gonna keep two tie out lines, so guy lines on each one of those. Every other pole only gets one guy line. And the reason for that is we initially need a lot of stability. We need this shelter held up with just four points. Once that's done, the rest of it's really, really easy. And stand them up where we want them, okay? And this is really where you can do this on your own, but it sucks. It sucks really bad. So you don't wanna do this on your own. If you have four people, it's the best. If you only have two people, it works just fine. So Dan's gonna grab one side, I'm gonna grab this side, and then our invisible helper is gonna grab our temp peg. <laughs> I have no temp peg. Oh, so you I gotta hold this up here. All cattywampus looking, but it is standing on itself. So we're gonna go to the other side directly across now and set the next post up. Now, what the trick to this is, is not just to stand this up, but get it so the other side doesn't initially fall. Once we get this, that it's somewhat in place, we need to pull this tight. We need a nice straight beam across from this pole to that pole. So all we're gonna do right now is lightly pull like that, and we're gonna put the 10 pegs in and hold this up. So we're gonna have Dan hold it, I'm gonna drop the 10 pegs in, it should be good. For the center point, it's a little bit difficult to see because it's real thin black 
bank line. But what I did was there are big heavy duty loops, um, metal rings on each seam per se of the poles. So I just tied that across to the corresponding pole and we made this star shape in the middle here. So everything combines together. And then we take our center tripod and push up and this is what's holding that center tripod up. It seems to work the best. And that's how easy it is to set up one of those. Now, don't get me wrong, it wasn't easy the first few times to do this until we really figured out a way to do it, but this has been super effective, super easy. This literally took us less than a half an hour to get up. Now, we did the poles, we had the tie outs, we had everything ready and we've done it before, but if you have everything prepped for something like this, it's, it's a pretty simple process. So use some of these techniques that we showed you as far as guy lines and dog bones and using that center tripod and tensioning with your shelters when you build them in your bushcraft environment and um, enjoy life that much more in the woods. So this was Dan Wolak, Dan Van Linsky from Coal Cracker Bushcraft. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com. Till the next video, stay in the woods.